One out of five high school football players will get some sort of head injury in any given season. That's according to the Brain Injury Research Institute. And over the course of four years, the chance of getting hurt increases exponentially. Tonight, one local team is fighting back with technology. Our Rebecca Schleicher explains, although smarter helmets don't put an end to concussions, they can help teams better manage them. Hey! It's a sport where kids are taught to be tough. Get the ball right there! Right and because of that, you just pull that. Senior linebacker Dalton France welcomes his team's new helmet. It's one of the best helmets I've ever put on my head. After taking hit after hit, he says these new smart helmets. Five sensors throughout the helmet. Their front, back, top, and both sides. Can keep his trainer in the loop if he or his teammates take one hit too hard. I might not know, but he knows, so that's the extra advantage for him and all of our team. How does it work? If a player takes a big hit to the head in real time, the trainer will get an alert right in their hand. The number uh, will actually come up in the helmet and it'll flash at you, and that's how you know to walk over. Staff are pretty upfront that the new gear won't solve everything. There's not a helmet out there that will prevent concussions, but what it will do is it'll allow us as coaches to be able to identify larger hits that you sometimes you're not able to see. It's a cause especially important to this team. Cornerback Baylor Bramble spent months in the hospital after a critical head injury last season. We, we miss him as a team, and we just know that we got to stay with them and be there through all phases with them. Right now, they're just for starters. They're expensive at 400 bucks a pop. We bought, uh, I think we bought 18 of them, and we had 11 parents pitch in and bought their own. But they say it's another way to look out for their kids who love the game. Hurry up, get your, get it, get your helmet back on, get in there, forget about it. Let's go, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. But don't want their injuries to haunt them. Eventually, I know I'll have to give it up, but however long I can play it, I want to play it. So After they leave school. And we on three, one, two, three. Hey, Malcolm, quiet. We in short. 21 teams in Tennessee are currently using the sensors called the Riddell Insight Response System. That includes youth football through college teams, but Siegel is the only one in Middle Tennessee.